Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. So I've heard through the grapevine that a couple more of my favorite perfumes have been discontinued and this sparked the idea to do a video about some of the perfumes in my collection that I'm obsessed with that have been discontinued. So I'm going to share those with you today and if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do usually talk about perfume. We also do a little bit of luxury, home decor, minimalism, decluttering, unboxings, try on hauls, pretty much whatever relaxing stuff I feel like talking about. If that is something you'd be interested in, then definitely head on down and hit the subscribe button. Feel free to head on over and follow me on Instagram as well. And before we get started, let me know down below if you have a favorite perfume that has been discontinued. So I heard on Instagram the other day that one of my all-time favorite perfumes is going to be discontinued. I don't know for sure if that's a absolute true thing, but I've heard it from a couple people and it got me thinking, why do companies discontinue their best-selling perfumes? Why do they discontinue some of their most beautiful perfumes that people obviously love and they're buying? So it got me thinking that was a really good video idea because I have quite a few perfumes in my collection that are like favorites of mine and they're discontinued. So I thought I would share with you what those perfumes are and if I can find where you you can get these ones. I will try to link them. It's hard to find some of them, but some of them are still in circulation. And I do want to show you the candle that I am burning. So I finally did finish my Fiji Sands candle and I don't think I'll get that one again. That one was a little bit too like beachy for me. I didn't really care for it and I don't really love coconut in my candles either. But this one is called Sun Drenched Linen and this one smells like it says clean linen, crisp apple, soft musk. Um, so yeah, it literally smells like I've been doing laundry all day except also like soft and musky and ever so slightly fruity, like just, just a touch, like 5% fruity. And it is a really nice candle and it makes it smell like I have been doing laundry all day. Without too much further ado, let's get started in today's video. So first of all, you guys, speaking of discontinued perfumes, I did want to share with you this one because this is a dupe for a very popular and beautiful and highly coveted perfume, which is Alien Essence Absolute. And this is from Juliana's perfume. This is called Scarlet Letter. So you guys, this perfume, smells spot on Alien Essence Absolute. I did used to have Alien Essence Absolute. Much to my regret, I did sell it because I just at the time wasn't really loving it, but it is such a beautiful intoxicating perfume, you guys, and I still have people write me all the time asking if they know where, if I know where they can find Alien Essence Absolute. Definitely check out Juliana's perfume if you are looking for a dupe of Alien Essence or if you're looking for a dupe of any other perfume like Baccarat Rouge or Delina. Juliana's perfume does have dupes of a lot of really high-end beautiful fragrances at a fraction of the price. So this has notes of jasmine, it has cashmere, it has vanilla, it has amber, it's a little bit spicy. Oh my gosh, it is so nice. This is a spot on dupe for Alien Essence Absolute, you guys. I am so happy that they made this one because they do dupe a lot of other popular perfumes, but it's amazing that they duped one that we can't find anymore. Oh my gosh, it's just intoxicating and it's so beautiful. So yeah, this is called Scarlet Letter and highly, highly recommend it. Amazing lasting power. Juliana's perfume is the dupe house or the um, inspired house of my choice. People always ask me which is the best perfume house to get inspired versions. I always say go with Juliana's because they have really good longevity, the packaging is beautiful, and they smell amazing. They don't smell like some cheap dupe that was made in someone's garage. Like These are very, very nice inspired by perfumes, and this one is just, um, oh, it's so good, you guys. It's so good. It's totally giving me, like it's actually giving me nostalgia to times I wore Alien Essence in my past a couple years ago. So I will leave all of the details for this perfume and for Juliana's in the description box. And if you're interested in any of their fragrances, you can use the code 10 off to save 10% off of your first order. These perfumes are already very affordable, but you can save another 10% off with that code. And I will leave all the details and the code in the description box. And with that out of the way, let's get started with my other six or seven or whatever it is perfumes that have been discontinued. Okay, so let's start off with a banger, meaning this is probably my biggest disappointment in this whole video. I truly cannot believe it. If this is discontinued, I will be extremely sad. So this is Contremoi from Louis Vuitton, and this is a beautiful herbal, sort of a chocolatey vanilla. It has like a dusky, dusty, 
chocolatey, green, herbally touch to it, but it is first and foremost a vanilla perfume, but it's a very unique vanilla perfume. I have been talking this up since I first received it. Um, I absolutely love this. So first of all, I will give you a close-up of the bottle. Um, so as you guys know, I'm a huge Louis Vuitton fan to begin with. I have two Louis Vuitton fragrances in my collection and I have my eyes on a third. Um, so far I have two. Love the bags, love the branding, love the bottles, the packaging, the luxury, everything about it is just so pretty to me. And this was a discovery for me. I first smelled it in August of 2021 when I was on vacation and I fell head over heels in love with it and I have talked it up to you guys and... I hadn't been wearing it. I think, I don't know why. I was saving it for like a special occasion or something. Finally, I decided, no, Alithia, you have to wear your perfumes. I started wearing it. As you can see, there is a little bit of a dent. I started just spraying it all over because I was thinking, you only live once. You need to wear your best perfumes. Gosh, is it ever beautiful. I cannot believe they would discontinue this. So this has herbal notes in it, it has cacao, it has a couple of different types of vanilla. I think there's also a couple of floral notes in there. But mostly what you get is this, it smells like a vanilla that was mixed around with some like green herbal notes and then you sprinkled some cocoa powder on top and then you put it in a suitcase for a couple of months. It, that sounds terrible, but this that is what this smells like. It is just so sophisticated and so beautiful and I cannot believe that they would discontinue this one. So who knows, maybe the resources that I heard that from are incorrect. Let's cross our fingers and hope that they're incorrect. In any case, I will have to either get a backup, which sucks because this is very expensive, or I will have to covet and protect and hoard and not use this bottle too much because I don't want to run out. So I'm really, really, really sad about that. This is such a pretty perfume, you guys, that this could have been a signature scent. I was definitely going to repurchase this when I ran out. I'm just like so sad about it. So I just looked it up on the website and it is out of stock. So I don't know if that's a coincidence or if they're not going to be getting it back in stock. I should really call them and ask. But in any case, that is such a disappointment, you guys. The second one that I love that has been discontinued continued is Miss Dior 2017 version from Christian Dior. I will not spend a lot of time talking about this because if you watch my channel, you have heard me talk about this perfume over and over and over and over, but I love this perfume and this is my, this is also, I mean, this is probably my biggest disappointment because this was like a signature scent of mine for a while and this is my all-time favorite daytime scent for women. So this is a beautiful orange rose patchouli fragrance. It's sweet it's sexy, it's sophisticated, it's elegant, it's long-lasting, it's very posh, it's very classy, it is the epitome of a classy woman in a bottle and it is my favorite and this is one of many bottles I have. Thankfully I do have backups because I heard this was going to be discontinued and I snatched up a whole bunch of backups before they took them off the shelves. So you can tell that the juice in here is getting a little dark, which is okay, it still smells perfectly good. I need to wear this bottle. I need to wear this whole bottle through because it's just gonna go bad if I don't. I just have so many other perfumes and that's why at the end of 2022, I will be doing a massive declutter. Stay tuned for that, subscribe if you're not subscribed. I will be doing a huge declutter and I'm going to actually <laughs> go down, hopefully, hopefully to like a manageable number that is an appropriate size for a collection and then all of my perfumes will be worn normally on a regular basis but I digress anyways this is another one that I absolutely love that has been discontinued they actually didn't stop this one they just reformulated it so the new 2021 version is very pretty it's very light it's very soft it's like a powdery vanilla rose I think I'm not even sure what's all in there it's very nice, but it is such a huge departure from this one. It's so different to this one. It doesn't have nearly as good of lasting power. It doesn't smell anything like this one. It's just, it's not even a reformulation. It's a completely new scent. So I don't understand why they would have done that. I do know that Francis Kirk John is the new nose for Dior. So perhaps they were trying to make room for some of his creations, which will undoubtedly be amazing. The next one that I think is discontinued, although I hear conflicting 
reviews on that is Flora Botanica from Balenciaga. This is a beautiful, very earthy, very woody, but also very fresh, clean, green summer scent. This is a very green rose scent. It has mint, it has carnation, it has cannabis in it, which makes it really unique. I think there's also amber, and I think there is vetiver in here, I wanna say. And this is an absolutely stunning, just really, really stunning green rose scent. I need to wear this this summer. I will admit I'm not as head over heels in love with this one now as when I first got it. I think just because I haven't had the right occasion to wear it, it's been winter for the last like six months here. Um, but when I have worn this one in the summertime, I absolutely loved it. And this one is super fresh and for being a fresh, minty, green, rose floral scent, it has some pretty powerful depth to it. It packs a punch. You don't need very much. It lasts forever. Um, again, I just cannot believe that they would discontinue this one because I know so many people love this. This is so many people's staples. It was a hot seller. I just don't understand why they would have discontinued it. So this one I definitely need to dig out once the weather gets hot. Like I don't think this is much of a spring perfume for me. This one to me truly shines in hot, humid weather. I don't know why it just, I feel like it shines in hot, humid weather. So the third one is Mon Exclusive from Guerlain. And this is a, I guess this is a designer scent but it's more of like a niche quality and this one smells very similar to Mon Guerlain and Mon Guerlain Intense but this one is richer it's deeper it's more full-bodied um, it's thicker it's like a denser version of Mon Guerlain so this one I really really love it's very comforting. You can see that I have a pretty good dent. I have worn this. It is so comforting and so beautiful. My daughter loves when I wear this perfume, I think because it just has that cozy, comforting like nature to it as if you just gave somebody a big hug. That's kind of what this perfume gives me. Very elegant, very feminine, very pretty. I always tell people don't be super heartbroken. If you couldn't find this one, Mon Guerlain and Mon Guerlain Intense are more than good enough. They smell very, very similar. And actually part of me al almost prefers the original Mon Guerlain just because it has a little bit more versatility to it. The original Mon Guerlain, I think you could wear day, night, anytime. You could wear it to the office, but you could also wear it on a date. This one is, it's just a little bit richer and deeper and I feel like it's, I don't know, I have to be in the right mood to wear this one. So the next one that has been discontinued is C. Fiori from Giorgio Armani. Now this one, you guys, gets so much love. I don't understand why they would have discontinued this one. I really don't. Maybe it was the underdog because maybe C. Passione was a hotter seller or the original C just did much better. I'm not sure. Um, I think this one has gotten more hype in recent years just thanks to social media because a lot of people who talk about perfume like myself hype this one up so I think that they might be kicking themselves now because people want this and can't find it this smells similar to the original but this one is like milkier creamier more vanilla it also has a bit of a sweet sort of a berry twist to it even though there's not really a lot of berries in it there's black currant there is green mandarin there's neroli I think those three notes together give this a little bit of that sweetness but I interpret this as like blueberries and like purple berries of some sort. Um, it also has rose, patchouli, oak moss, and then it has a hefty dose of vanilla and it also has white musk. So this to me smells like a berry vanilla milkshake version of the original C. It is just absolutely stunning. What in the world were they thinking getting rid of this perfume? Every time I ask people, what are your most complimented perfumes? What perfume does your husband or boyfriend like on you? Um, people always name C. Fiori. This is a beautiful fragrance and it is so feminine and so pretty and elegant. And this is almost very bridal. Like you could wear this to if you were a bride, like to your own wedding. You could wear this as a day-to-day -day signature scent. It's so pretty and it has such good lasting power and I just don't understand why they would have discontinued this one. So I still don't have a backup of this one. Currently you can still find this on different websites. I think you can still find it on uh, Sephora and I think you can find it on Fragrance Buy and a lot of other discount sites as well. So if you're on the hunt, I will try to link this down below to a couple of different retailers for you guys, um, but it's gorgeous and it's a little mature. I don't see this on like a teeny bopper or somebody in their early 20s. I think like 23, 24 and up 
maybe would appreciate this one. The next one that I've heard is discontinued and I think that's the truth because there's been quite a few people mention it so I think this one will be discontinued is absolutely blooming from Miss from Christian Dior. So this one smells a little bit similar to Miss Dior but it's um, not so heavy in the patchouli. In fact, I don't think there is patchouli in this one. This one is definitely more of a raspberry, berry, sweet floral scent. So you have raspberry, black currant, pomegranate, pink pepper, may rose, peony, and musk. And this is a beautiful perfume that somehow to me comes across being a little bit lipsticky almost. It does have a it does have a bit of a powdery cosmetic-y touch to it, even though there's no iris or anything in there. Um, but for me, somehow it just smells kind of powdery. And actually, to be honest, I'm not loving this one at the moment, you guys, because I want it to age a little bit. I kind of want to stick this in a window somewhere and like turn it dark and get it rich because the tester that I've tested for these in the stores that were quite a lot older, the juice was a lot darker and it had such better lasting power and it was like richer and had this um, this makeup -y, powdery, lipsticky depth to it that I really liked. So I'm kind of waiting for this one to mature. I'm a little bit tired of this one at the moment, but um, I'm going to hold on to it and put it away in a box somewhere and hope that it will start to mature or maybe I'll leave it out somewhere. I just want it to mature a bit and then I think I'll enjoy it a lot more. So that's the reason I haven't gotten a backup of this one because at the moment I'm kind of not really loving it all that much. I will link to this one down below as well you guys if I can find it if you're interested in getting yourselves a bottle. It is really beautiful. Um, I just want it to get a little bit richer and darker before I start wearing it. The second last one is Black Opium Nuit Blanche. So I've talked about this one quite a bit as well. And this is very similar to the original Black Opium. However, this one is more lactonic. It's kind of milkier, creamier. It doesn't have the pear that the original one has. It's not quite as sweet. It's definitely a little bit richer and darker and I guess milkier than the original one. This is so beautiful. This has rice, it has anise, it has bourbon pepper, coffee, orange blossom, coriander, peony. It also has vanilla, milk, and caramel. Vanilla, milk, and caramel. So imagine the original black opium, but not quite as sweet, and give it some milky, sort of caramelly depth. That's what this is. And it's just really, really beautiful and I really like it. I know a lot of people are not huge fans of black opium, but I love actually pretty much every black opium. I actually truly do. I could have all of them in my collection, except I don't need all of them because as it is, it takes me forever to go through a bottle of perfume. Again, I can't believe that they discontinued this one because in my opinion, it's one of the best. And I know there's a few other people out there who share that opinion. So yeah, don't understand why they discontinued this one either. Um, however, on the flip side, once this is done, I think I will just replace it with the Black Opium Illicit Green. Illicit Green has this creamy, um, nutty quality to it, I think because there's a fig in there as well. And so for me, the Illicit Green is actually a pretty good dupe of the Nuit Blanche. Not that they smell the same, but they kind of give me the same feelings. So once this one is out, if that ever happens, <laughs> I will definitely be getting the Illicit Green. So. I'm not super heartbroken about it because honestly, like the black opiums all smell so similar. I just really, really liked this one. So I did get my hands on a bottle, but, and the last one in today's video that I'm obsessed with, and actually you guys, I'm truly like head over heels obsessed with this one. And I have backups of this one, thankfully, is Armani Code Satin. So the original Armani Code, you can still find. It is still being sold. Um, the satin and the cashmere have both been discontinued. I would like to get my hands on the cashmere again. This one is similar to the original code. However, this one is not so like fresh shampoo-y. The original Armani code, although it was a deep, sexy, dark perfume, that one also had this brightness to it, this sort of orange blossom shampoo-y brightness. This one does also have orange blossom, but this one has a lot more depth. So it has ginger, it has sorbet and pear, it has orange blossom, neroli, and jasmine. But then in the base, you have vanilla, cacao, praline, and patchouli. And honestly, those notes don't even do this justice. The notes do not do this justice, you guys. This is such a warm, intoxicating, sweet, sexy, feminine, beautiful, date night, going out perfume. I love this. I love this so much. Oh gosh, I just love this so much. I could wear this 
all the time. I could wear this all the time. This could be, like if I had to cull my date night perfumes down to four or five, because I think right now I probably have about 10 or something like that. If I had to cull it down to like four, this would be on that list. This is one of my top, top favorite date night perfumes for sure. It's sweet, it's gourmand, it's sexy, it's a little bit floral, it's feminine, it's dark, it's alluring, it's just, I can't, oh my gosh you guys, I can't even tell you how much I love this, like oh, just, it's so good, it's so good. So this is actually another one of my really, really big disappointments. When we're done, I will go through a quick recap and tell you which ones I'm most sad about and which ones I'm not that sad about, um, but this one just kills me, like why? They, they kept the OG, which is very dated at this point in my opinion. It's still a nice perfume, but it's a little bit dated, um, and they got rid of the intoxicating like bomb fragrances that just blow your mind. You know, I don't understand why they do that, but maybe they'll bring it back. In any case, that is the last one in today's video. And I'm so happy that I have two backups. I have one full bottle and I also have a partial bottle. And if anybody wants to gift me or sell me their bottle, please hit me up on Instagram. I will gladly take it from you. Okay, you guys, so those are all the discontinued perfumes that I have in my collection, with the exception of the Julianas, of course. You can still get that one. By the way, I will have everything in the description box if you are interested in getting yourself a dupe of Alien Essence Absolute. When it comes to all of my other perfumes, the ones that I am most sad about, you guys can probably guess, I am very, very sad that they discontinued the Miss Dior 2017 because that is my favorite daytime perfume ever. I'm very, very sad that they discontinued Contre Moi. I cannot believe it that this has become one of my new favorite perfumes and it was going to be a lifer for me. It was going to be in my collection going forward and now I can't get it anymore. Super, super sad. And I'm also very, very sad about the Armani Code Satin. That really, really disappoints me. I'm hoping that it pops up again on discount websites in the future. Sometimes these discontinued perfumes will suddenly pop up on discount websites. That is the best way to find them. Keep your eyes peeled, put your name on the email notification list and just hop on it. When you get that email, buy it right now because there are people just like you and me who are obsessed with perfumes who are waiting for that notification and you have to hop on it. Even if it's two o'clock in the morning, you just have to hop on it because they'll just be sold out. Um, another one that I am Nah, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed about Sea Fury, but I don't know if that one's gonna be a lifer, you guys, for me. Like, I really love it, but I'm not super, super heartbroken about it, but I kind of wouldn't mind a backup. Mon Exclusive, I'm not that heartbroken, to be honest, as much as it's beautiful. I feel like I get everything I need from Mon Guerlain. And like I said, the original Mon Guerlain's also just more versatile. Other than that, I'm not super heartbroken about the Nuit Blanche. I'm not super heartbroken anymore about the Flora Botanica because I'm, I'm not sure how, you know, if that one's going to be a lifer for me anymore. I think there's other perfumes in my spring and summer arsenal that have kind of taken Flora Botanica's place that are just a little bit more me. The Flora Botanica, although it's incredible, sometimes I feel like it's just not me all the time. So anyways, tangent again. And I'm not super disappointed about the Absolutely Blooming at this point. It's a beautiful perfume, but right now I feel like I just need it to be richer and deeper. So yeah, I'm just going to hold on to that one and let it age. But yeah, that's my thoughts on all of these discontinued perfumes, you guys. Let me know down below if you have a favorite perfume that has been discontinued. Also, let me know your thoughts on all of these ones. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I always appreciate each and every single one of you coming back and watching my videos. It really means the world to me, and I will see you all very soon in my next one. Bye for now.